We are in the peak flu season, and according to the CDC, 35 states reported widespread cases. First, there is a warning of an outbreak of a drug-resistant bacteria, and it's been linked to a hospital in the Chicago area, 40 people sickened so far. So, Dr. Siegel, we hear about bacteria and infections in hospitals, but is this occurring outside of hospitals as well? It's starting to, and I'm actually quite concerned about this. It's called CRE, carbapenem-resistant enterobacteriaceae, a big mouthful. But this resistant bacteria problem is huge. The Centers for Disease Control came out of a report this year that we talked about where 2 million people have resistant uh, infections and 23,000 died from resistant bacteria. How does bacteria get resistant? It's because we overuse antibiotics. And that causes the survival of the fittest. The bacteria that's most fit survives those antibiotics. Well, there's a serious health alarm going on right now. Swine flu killing at least five people in the state of Texas and more cases of the H1N1 swine flu identified around St. Louis. This as the winter flu season takes hold across the south from Texas to Alabama. Flu season is in full swing. The annual outbreak steadily spreading now. CDC officials are now reporting elevated flu activity in all regions of the country. And in some cases, the flu has turned deadly, including a 29-year-old Texas mom of three who passed away only five days after first showing any symptoms. Dr. Devi is an assistant professor of rehab medicine at NYU Langone Medical School, and she's my guest today. This is spreading like wildfire. Why? Well, we're not sure why it's spreading so fast, but what's most concerning is that the swine flu is becoming a greater proportion of the number of cases of flu. And swine flu is so dangerous because it's not a human virus. We're not adapted to fight it properly. Right. Obviously, it comes from a pig. Yeah. Now, I would think my daughter actually had swine flu when it first came out yeah. years ago. I thought every flu vaccine now has the swine flu aspect of it in it. I thought every flu vaccine now has the swine flu aspect of it in it. It does. So we think some of the issue is that people are not getting vaccinated quickly enough. So not everyone gets vaccinated. That's always been a problem. A deadly outbreak of the flu is sweeping across several states. The Centers for Disease Control reports some of the most severe cases are in 20 states. Most of the H1N1 strain of influenza, which caused a worldwide pandemic four years ago. Brandon Scott reports from hard hit California. These tents in front of San Jose's Regional Medical Center are usually set up for disasters. Now hospital staff are preparing them for a surge of patients suffering from the flu. We're using them to kind of isolate those patients uh, from the other patients. California's flu season is off to an aggressive and deadly start. Statewide, the flu is blamed for seven deaths. Health officials are investigating 28 more as possibly flu-related. What brings you to the hospital today? Brooke Villacana brought her two young sons to an emergency room in Orange County. They've had fevers, coughs, and congestion. She fears it's the flu. Just scary being a mom and the two little ones that are super sick. This current flu outbreak stretches across the country. According to the Centers for Disease Control, California is one of 35 states with widespread influenza activity. 12 additional states are battling regional levels of flu. The predominant virus is the H1N1 strain, last seen in the 2009-2010 flu season. Known as swine flu, it killed at least 150,000 people worldwide. It hits kids and young adults the hardest, a group usually at lower risk. There was a bit of a panic surrounding H1N1 last time around. Is that panic justified? Is it that bad of a strain of flu? I think people underestimate what flu can do to people. People who truly have influenza are sick, they feel rotten, and some die. It can be a very devastating disease. This year's flu vaccine can protect against H1N1, and doctors recommend vaccinations for everyone ages six months and older. The CDC estimates that just 40% of Americans have gotten a flu vaccination, meaning more than half the country is still at risk during this current outbreak. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Brandon Scott, Los Angeles.